Hey everybody, old guy Hi-Fi Ed Holmwood here. Um, I wanted to do a quick system update um, just to kind of give everybody a heads up on what's going on. As you'll notice, I have two pairs of speakers in here. I have my ELAC uh, Debut 2.0 F62s and I brought out from another room where they'd been kind of in retirement, my Energy Reference 22.2s and I did a video on those and it's pretty interesting. So I've had the two in here side by side. I've been listening back and forth. And the energies in their day was a fairly expensive pair of speakers. Today's money, they'd probably be about $4,200, $4,300. And of course, the ELACs are around $1,200, $1,300 or something like that at retail. So the energies sound remarkable. They're truly amazing speakers. And I'd forgotten why I loved them so much. Uh, and I think I had the bug to get something new, which is why I got the ELAX. But side by side, the ELAX stand up extraordinarily well. They're still a really good speaker. Um, they need a little bit of different tweaking. Um, they are don't have a ton of bass and they don't have a ton of mid bass, which is fine because I can use my shit locius to, to make those changes. So one of the other things I did do was I got out of the archives in the back room one of my old Harman Kardon uh, five disc carousel changers. This is the FL8550. And this has dual 20 bit Burr Brown uh, DAX. I believe they're R to R, they're, uh, R, to R DAX. Um, it, may, it may not be. I have a couple of different Harman CD players and they all have different uh, DAX in them and so forth and so on. But I believe these are the Burr Brown. The same chip was used by Wadia in one of their CD players that actually used four of these uh, Burr Brown chips. This one only has two, but this this CD player was probably only about 400 bucks where the Wadi was probably $1,500. So anyway, so coming over to the rest of the system, I've cleaned stuff up a bunch. Um, I had a comment on my other, on my Ed Homewood channel from someone in Great Britain who was commenting about having too much stuff stacked on one shelf, creating noise. Now, while I didn't hear it, I took a suggestion and kind of cleaned things up. So I moved my little IR switcher, line level switcher up to the top of the amp. Uh, and then I cleaned out the phono preamp, and I'll show you where that is in a moment. So right now I just have my Bifrost, my multi-bit Bifrost, my Locius, and the little PC I used to run our Nirvana. And I did do some upgrades on power cables. So I've got this monster power cable for the Bifrost. I have a similar one for the Cambridge AXR100. I can't show it to you real quick. But anyway, so I moved the phono preamp down closer to... The turntable so it just sits there and another thing i did was i got again out of the museum of audio that i have is let me show you this real quick this is an at 125 lc now lc stands for line contact even today for audio technica line contact is a big deal and very expensive pardon the bad camera work um the line contact stylus just the replacement's about 300 bucks or so the good news is, is I can use a replacement stylus from the current VM series. So like my VM 540 ML, I can get a, a line contact stylus for that series to replace this one. But, oh my God, it's still like 400 bucks for a new one. So it's really, really expensive. The other thing I did do was I moved my Lox G D30 down to the bottom shelf here only because I really just don't use it very frequently. I only use it for DSD playback. Um, actually, the optical and the coaxial inputs don't work. So, and I don't really do any headphone listening down here. And I have a bunch of different choices because every one of my CD players has a headphone jack on it, as does my Cambridge. So, anyway, that's the quick update on what's going on with the system. I don't really suspect any changes, although I will be getting my Marantz PM74D integrated Class A integrated amp back. Uh, in a couple days, and I'll probably post a review on that next week after Expona. So the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to play a sound clip for you guys. Now, I don't have a super quality microphone for this, so I'm not sure how it's going to work out, but we're going to give it a shot, um, and we'll, we'll go from there. So let me cut over and get set up for that, and I'll be right back. Just real quick, I put together some royalty-free music from YouTube. It is only... Uh, 320 kilobits mp3 so I can't promise the sound quality so let me reset and then we'll get recording on this 
Well, with any luck, hopefully this works out just fine. So we're going to go ahead and start this track from, again, royalty-free YouTube music. It is, again, a 320 kilobit MP3. So here we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the ELAC speakers. Let's go back to the energy speakers real quick. Well, I'm not sure how much of a difference you heard. I can certainly hear it here. And again, the microphone I'm using is just this little lavalier that I have, a little USB lav. I was thinking about investing in a stereo mic. The rigs get really expensive. But anyway, I hear more mid-bass, a uh, little more punch in the uh, energies than I do in the Elax. Although the Elax, the mid-range is a little bit clearer because obviously it's a two and a half way versus a two way. Um, everything you heard was the AXR100, the shit Bifrost multi-bit. Obviously, streaming from Artivana on my PC. So that's that. Again, we're going to be at Expona this week. Um, and this weekend, I'll be there Friday and Saturday. If you see me, I'll be wearing a T-shirt that says Old Guy Hi-Fi on the back and then my Old Guy Hi-Fi channel logo on the front. Um, stop by, say hello. You know, I'd love to meet everyone. I'd love to talk to you. I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I really do like your comments. I've had some great comments. I love interacting with you guys through that. Um, you can also email me. My email address is in the channel description on YouTube. So you're welcome to do that as well. So thanks so much. Everybody have a great time and hopefully I'll see you at Expona. All right. Bye-bye.